what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a more serious type of video um if you guys have been following me for the past couple of months at least um you guys know that i had like this huge um flare up with my eczema on my face um i will insert videos and pictures somewhere on the screen um while i'm talking um but i just wanted to come to you guys and show you guys my face now it is cleared up for the most part i mean it seems like a little dark still to me but it cleared up like a whole bunch compared to what it used to be so today i'm just gonna show you guys like i said the pictures of my before so you guys know that this isn't no type of clickbait type of stuff because you know your girl don't do that i'm not for the fake fake i'm for the real real so let's get it period so um let's see i'm gonna look at my phone because i do have a lot of pictures in my phone um so the day i realized that i mean because i've always had eczema on my wrist on my ankles my stomach like little basic places like so like that um and then i also had it really bad on my eyelids and um the way i figured that out was when i first started getting eyelash extensions and my eyelids would get like really they would be itching really bad and they would be swollen and it looked like somebody tore me up like they be my butt okay uh so um to help combat that eczema um i started i kept getting my eyelash extensions but i decided to you know go to somebody who had sensitive glue and the sensitive glue does it just works wonders no type of flare-ups anything eyes wasn't itching nothing i didn't have any problems so you know little simple stuff and when i did have it on my wrists and my ankles and stuff like that i would use hydrocortisone which was fine it made it go away i was cool so on february 25th of this year 2019 is when my face kind of was getting like it was kind of like burning and a little itchy type of thing going on and i didn't know what was up so i'm like okay whatever so as the days went on my face started getting like dry patches in the area of my cheek slash my mouth around my mouth so um pretty much once spring break hit which was like march 1st that's when i went home for a week my eczema just completely turned on me my face was really dark and it was really dry patchy and like really dried out to the point where i couldn't eat because my face was like scabbed shut from the dry skin and the eczema and stuff like that so i did go to the doctor um if you guys are having really bad flare-ups i do recommend going to the doctor first um i did go to the doctor and he prescribed me um eucrisa i should have brought my medicine out here i didn't even think to do that but he prescribed me eucrisa and hydrocortisone 2.0 2.1 it was 2.0 1.5 or something like that something like that it's like a higher or stronger dosage of hydro the hydrocortisone that you can buy from the store so um my remedy was basically to i was basically told to um use those two twice a day in the morning and at night time for two weeks and then after the two weeks to stop using the hydrocortisone so y'all know me i do my research anyway so the hydrocortisone eventually if you use it too much or too frequent it can lighten your skin like a lot like kind of like bleach your skin so that's why i had to stop using it within those two weeks um so i did have to put the eucrisa on first around the mouth area and then i had to put the hydrocortisone on top of that um and just wear that for the day and then put it on when i go to bed at night and i literally was just using like uh like a generic i can't remember who it was by i'm i didn't even come prepared but this face wash that basically didn't have any type of scent or do anything extra it just was to clean my face and then that's how i would do it um but i did do some research and there's something called is it um it's called topical steroid withdrawal um and that's basically like when your skin goes through withdrawal from no longer using the steroids so my skin cleared up like super fast and i was like okay bet like this medicine is working but after those two weeks were up and i stopped using the hydrocortisone my skin turned on me again and it got worse um so i looked it up 
and from the internet it says that i had the topical steroid steroid withdrawal i'm not really sure but my face did get like really bumpy and really irritated along with the eczema back in full effect in action so um i kind of started doing my research and i started looking for like home remedies and stuff like that to um help me out with my eczema sorry for talking so much i'm trying to give y'all like my backstory but now i'm going to tell you guys what i found on the internet and the things that i tried i'm going to tell you what i tried what didn't work and then i'm going to show you guys what actually did help clear up my face so the first remedy um i found this website and it said that ground nutmeg uh, nut nutmeg powder is the least popular among the eczema scar remedies um, it has vitamin A vitamin C which is good for your skin's health um, and basically you just make like a little mini mask with the nutmeg and um, water so I tried that first because um, this was like the first thing I seen at the store from the entire list so I tried this first and it didn't really do much for me um, it was an interesting smell to have on my face, but other than that, I didn't see any type of difference, anything with this. So that's the first thing I did. Okay, so then the next thing that I tried was the oatmeal mask. A lot of people recommended the oatmeal mask um, to me. So I tried to get the most natural oatmeal that there was at the store. So I got the steel cut oats, whole grain. So um, I tried these and what I actually did was actually um, to make the mask instead of using water I used aloe vera juice because um, I also heard that this was really good for eczema as well. Um, let me see if I can find those on the list. Aloe vera is basically supposed to help with eczema both internally and extern externally. So that's why I use that and then you know the oatmeal mask is supposed to help with the scars and the dark marks. Um, this i did not like the smell on my face it was kind of like dripping off all over my clothes and i wasn't feeling it once again nothing i didn't see any type of difference no changes nothing um then i don't have it it's in the uh free the refrigerator right now um the next thing that they said to use was take a shot of apple cider vinegar and honey um the apple cider vinegar um, in honey is supposed to help enhance your immune system and decrease the chances of a uh, flare up. Now, so what I did, I took a shot cup and I poured some um, apple cider vinegar and then I mixed some honey in there and I took those for a couple days. That ain't do nothing but tear my stomach up, had me with the Bee Gees, the Bubble Gus, the Hershey Squirt, all of those on the toilet. It didn't do nothing for my face. Um, but yeah, I had my stomach tore up and it didn't really do anything for my face either all of these things i used them within the course of after i stopped using the hydrocortisone because once i stopped using that i was like okay my skin was getting better and as soon as i stopped using the steroid it got completely worse so i needed to figure something else out because after a while the actual eczema went away and i was just really dealing with the dark spots because my face was no longer itchy or dry or anything i just had like a big dark mark around my face that didn't match the rest of my skin so i was trying to get rid of the scar so for the people that are giving me advice under my videos for my eczema thank you so much but the problem was no longer the eczema it was the ending result or the after fact the aftermath of the actual eczema that i had going on on my face so what actually changed my entire life and helped clearing out my skin was a couple things i'm going to tell you guys my whole routine and what i did i went to kroger and i got this turmeric powder um it's organic ground turmeric and what i did was the first time i started using it uh to make a mask i poured the turmeric on a plate and i mixed it with honey and a little bit of water and i put that on my face so i used that for probably about a week and it didn't i didn't really see any type of anything um so i decided to just go straight with the organic turmeric so i stopped using the honey and i just used the turmeric powder and some water and made like a mask and really i was making it really thick but it doesn't have to be thick as long as there's turmeric mixed in with the water consistency it's fine so if it's watery it's good because if you have a lot of powder on your face and it's really thick the turmeric is going to get everywhere and stain everything y'all i have white comforters white sheets and my sheets and my comforters were yellow okay so after i put the turmeric all over where the eczema scar was i would go to sleep with that on wake up rinse it off 
now side note with turmeric it does stain like really really bad so my face would be yellow so in order to get that yellow residue and like aftermath off of my face i went in with a little bit of baking soda and put some water on my fingers and kind of just exfoliated it a little bit and the yellow was completely gone like completely gone um for my face wash i got this uh face wash from uh ancient cosmetics and this is their perfectly easy perfectly even skin for hi hyperpigmentation um and this line is actually made specifically made specifically for people with eczema so um to wash my face every morning every night i would use this and i still use this i don't use anything else um i still follow this regimen that i'm telling you guys right now because i want my skin to continue to stay the way it is because that was the struggle now after i so i do the turmeric mask i wash my face with the perfectly even skin then i make a turmeric then I make a turmeric mask. I go to sleep with the mask on. I wake up. I exfoliate with the baking soda to get the extra yellow residue off of my face. Then I go back in, wash my face with the perfectly even skin again because it's morning time. I probably sweat it throughout the night, everything else. Um, and then I go in with my African Shea Butter. I don't know if you guys can see this. But this is raw Shea Butter. Okay, um, and I literally just take some shea butter and just rub it all in the area where my eczema was. Um, and like I'm doing it right now because throughout the day when my face um, seems like it doesn't have any, like it's a little dry, I will reapply the shea butter. Um, but shea butter has a lot of healing properties in it as well, um, as well as two. Sorry, guys, my camera died. But um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, but yeah, turmeric is really good for scars, and shea butter has a lot of healing properties in it. Um, so I just went with the natural route, and literally, let me see if I have a picture of when I started it, so I can give you guys kind of like a time frame. Okay, so around march 27th was the day that i just went to kroger and i was like i'm finna try something else so i started uh, using the i ordered the perfectly even skin as well as the shea butter on amazon um and then on april 27th i started using all three products and on let's see on april 11th my skin looked completely different it was still dark but it looked completely different like i was shook literally because all these days i went through all of these days and i was doing all these masks i have pictures with the oatmeal mask and everything and they weren't doing anything for me so i used the same regimen for my eczema i'm not sure if you could use turmeric all over your body i'm not sure i understand I'm not sure if you can use turmeric all around your body or all over your body, um, but I definitely would say check out uh, Ancient Cosmetics because this stuff is it. Um, I am like, I really want to get back into my old skin routines because uh, I feel like I'm neglecting the rest of my face. Um, but right now I'm really focused on my eczema. So like I said, my regimen is the same every single day. Some days I do go without doing the turmeric mask. You don't have to do it every day, just a couple days a week. Um, probably, probably about three, two or three days without out of the week. You don't have to do it every day. Um, and just wear it overnight. You don't have to wear it overnight. You can do it for a couple minutes, but I usually just wear it overnight. But if you don't want any stains or anything like that, then just, um, do it for like probably about 15 to 25 minutes and then rinse it off and then you can go in with a little bit of baking soda and the baking soda kind of just removes the yellow access on your face and then you apply your shea butter um i don't have like a super trick or anything or super quick method i mean it works pretty fast for me and if you guys see my dark spots you know it's real because y'all seen them on my previous videos when my eczema was really bad and then you see me now my face looks completely 
different. It looks like I'm back to my old self. Um, this journey was interesting. It was stressful um, because my face is my brand. I was very, very much affected by it i was not on social medias i wasn't doing anything um but i do want to say if you guys are struggling with eczema on your face or anywhere um it's light at the end of the tunnel period like honestly um at first i was hiding my face on campus and i was scared for people to see me but after a while i just didn't even care anymore because i'm like still banging period like I'm still banging with these scars on my face and that's how y'all should feel as well like i don't want anybody to feel um sad i mean it's okay to feel sad or upset but do that on your own time don't go out trying to hide from people it's cool stuff happens it's life the air is polluted it's bad our skins have reactions to the stuff in the air it happens i do send my prayers and my love to everybody to anybody who's struggling with eczema um or any other type of skin condition because i know how it is um i hope that uh you know some of you guys actually try my method and you know some of the remedies that didn't work for me may work for you um so i'm gonna try to put everything that i talked about in the description box and then one more thing um that i heard about that was really good was this um cold press rose hip seed oil by the ordinary and i use this oil probably about two or three times so i can't really say if it works but i heard really good things about this oil um and this is supposed to be really good for clearing up eczema as well um one thing i can say about this oil though is that it it doesn't it doesn't stay like oily on your face so if you're finna go out and you don't want to put greasy shea butter all over your face i don't care so but if you don't want to put greasy shea butter all over your face you can go in with this oil um and put it on there and it won't look so greasy it kind of like dries up but it still keeps your skin moisturized um so um I hope I didn't miss anything. Like if I have any flare ups in the future, um, I definitely will keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on with my skin. But this regimen that I have right now and I've been doing has been working wonders. So I'm kind of sticking with it. I'm scared to do anything else, uh, try anything else. D yeah, just I'm not feeling it. I'm just enjoying uh, my skin, seeing my skin basically clear up before my eyes. So. Um, I hope I didn't talk too much. I know y'all hate when I talk too, too much. Um, but I love you guys. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys check the description box um, for all information. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, comments, anything, put that in the comment section. Um, and then also, uh, my DMs are open to anybody that's kind of, to anybody that's struggling with eczema, wants to talk about it. Or, um, yeah, just wants to talk about it with me because... I can relate I really can um, if you guys need some words of encouragement feel free to DM me on Instagram Instagram probably the best place to reach me um, but yeah I love you guys if you're going through like I said any type of skin conditions or anything keep a smile on your face it'll get better I promise um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one Mwah.